Come tomorrow in the Cudahy plant fire, brothers Curtis and Joshua Pop are scheduled to be in court tomorrow afternoon. They're accused of launching a military flare that started that $50 million fire. Tonight, the community rallied behind the victims and volunteers at that fire. Charles Benson shows us how neighbors are showing their support. Charles? And Mike, union leaders are optimistic that most of their workers will be back on the job soon. Hundreds have already returned, as you can see, but for those who haven't, Help is on the way. It was a night to kick back and relax at a benefit in Oak Creek to help the Patrick Cudahy workers and thank the firefighters who fought to save the plant. It's been more than two weeks since the plant caught fire, forcing the company to lay off hundreds of union workers. So I'm proud to present uh, to the Patrick Cudahy Workers Relief Fund and John Iden uh, this check for $2,000. The checks keep coming in to the Patrick Cudahy Workers Relief Fund. So far, more than $35,000 have been raised to help its 1,400 union workers with unpaid bills. Others dropped off food donations and a few dollars at the community concert organized by the Harvest Bible Chapel. It's gone from bleak to better for the union. I hope to have 90% of the workers back within the next couple of weeks. Are you satisfied with that? I, I, it's, it's better than what was forecasted in the beginning. The event was also a big thank you for the Cudahy firefighters who fought to save the century-old plant. It's an amazing a couple of weeks with all the support that we've had um, from money donations to just people saying thank you. And the union believes the company will bring back all of those workers once it rebuilds. Reporting live in Cudahy, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4 HD. Okay, Charles, thank you very much. Well